came here for one reason. I came to AIW for one reason. That absolute championship. In a few short weeks, calm down, calm him down. I'm gonna get that belt. There's nobody that can stop me. On June 27th, Absolution 5 at the West Park Party Center. It's going to be Brian Danielson immediately challenging the winner of the main event for the absolute title. Brian Danielson, a guaranteed absolute title shot at Absolution 5. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. Denver, Colorado. What's up, bro? Aaron Bauer. Yeah. Yeah. What? It's Intense TV, man. I I'm flying solo. You I'm on the wrong show? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you want to help me out? I can't do yeah. this by myself. All right. So, you heard the news. Brian Danielson is coming to Absolution 5. That's the reason I'm here. Brian Danielson, AIW Absolution 5. So, uh, title shot? Title shot. And, you know, at the top of the hour, we heard from Tommy Mercer. If Tommy Mercer can defeat Sterling James Keenan, Facade, and Johnny Gargano, he'll become the absolute champion, and he will immediately face Brian Danielson for the absolute title. Now, that is not a match that is guaranteed to happen, but a match that is guaranteed to happen is coming up right now. Luis Diamante versus Corey Winters, and we've seen the Latin Crime Syndicate... The Pleather Platoon, they've been going back and forth. It all started at Jack of All Trios when the Pleather Platoon was heckling the Latin Crime Syndicate. Oh, yeah, they heckled them, all oh, right. Oh, they, oh, there was some heckling. Some, some grade A, some grade A heckling. <laughs> some heckling and some jekyllin. And some jekyllin. And then, let's not forget, we saw a few weeks ago, the Pleather Platoon ringside distracting the Latin Crime Syndicate, costing them a match against Team Beyond Wrestling. So these guys... Have some unsettled business to attend to. Unfinished business? Fans of Absolute Intense Wrestling, welcome to another episode of Intense TV. Here we see Corey Winters and Luis Diamante tying up for the first time. Corey Winters' first singles match. I'm being joined this time by a very special guest. Introduce yourself right on. Pardon the interruption, Denver, Colorado. But my name is Agent Aaron Bauer, and I am your very special guest. We got rid of that idiot Matt Wadsworth, and now we are together as we should be, as opposed to as we shouldn't be. I hear you loud and clear on that one, brother. And just like that, Corey Winters taking it to Luis Diamante. But like I said, this guy's an underdog going into this contest because it's his first ever singles encounter. Right now, though, taking it to Luis Diamante. Very surprising. Well, it looks like Corey Winters has the momentum on his side right now. He's got the crowd behind him. They like this guy. I can't understand why. Yeah, this whole pleather platoon, man. Talk about a bunch of idiots. The 
last time we saw them, they were up. Jaw jacking with the Latin Crime Syndicate after they lost to the Soul Touchers at the Jack of All Trios. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horn. And there you see the horn right there. Corey Winters, though, just able manages to get out. Corey Winters looked like a matador right there. He got the bull by the horns. You're right, Denver, Colorado. And what is this leather platoon all about? Who are these guys? They're a bunch of good balls. A bunch of good balls? What do you mean by that? I meant to say goof balls. You know what I meant. But there he is, Luis Diamante at the top of his game right now. He's in the best shape I've ever seen him in. And I'm not seeing anything happening on the outside out there, are you? And now Ben Fruth and Dave the Potato getting involved. These guys have no business by ringside whatsoever. Yeah, where's their manager's license? I need to talk to the commissioner and the owner and the president of AIW. I don't see Ben Fruth. I don't see this other dude having a manager's license out there like I have a manager's license for the young studs, the world tag team champions. Well, if anybody would know, you would. But if anybody would know about getting rocked with the form, Luis Diamante right there, still with the wherewithal to kick out. And let's not forget, Luis Diamante in a singles contest earlier this year pinned Lindsay Dorado. One, two, three. But this could be an upset right here. Corey Winters is able to. No! Luis Diamante reverses, picking him up and driving him down with a key crusher. That's going to do it. Uno, dos, three. A big win for the Latin Crime Syndicate. I'm Here sorry. I'm winner, sorry. The Louis Latin Crime Syndicate. Yeah, and the, the Latin Crime Syndicate, they're looking good going into Absolution 5. Especially with their new member, Isaac Montagna. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is Ben Fruth doing out there? He is scheming. He is known as a master manipulator. And he's scheming and plays, digging in his tights right there. He's got a little tiny foreign object in his tights. I think he's going to try to use it against the Latins. Somebody needs to tell them. Somebody needs to tell Luis! Luis! He cannot hear me. He cannot hear you. And Fruth is smart to get Corey Winters out of the ring. He could have been on the end of a gang beating at the, at the end of the, at the, at the... Yeah, I know what you mean. I was filming that way, I was stuck that way. From behind, from behind, the pleather platoon with Silly String. And the Silly String is all over the ring. It's mangled. How could they be so disrespectful? This pleather platoon needs to be taught some respect, and the Latins are giving it to them right now. The Latin Crime Syndicate always very serious, here to win matches and for nothing else. In the Pleather Platoon, you know, they've got, they've got high spirits, they're looking to have fun, they came to the wrong place, they're messing with the wrong guys. They're in absolute intense wrestling, they're not in absolute let's have fun and play games wrestling. Oh no, what is this? Who is this? Is that that stinky Hobo Joe, that nasty filthy rotten bum? Well, Hobo Joe has a storied rivalry with the Latin Crime Syndicate dating all the, all the way back to 2008, but he should be more concerned with tending to his gift-handed friend, Greg Iron, than helping these morons. Well, what's he doing out there with that chair? This should be barred. There should be legal ramifications taken against Hobo Joe and against the Pleather Platoon Patrol. What a... What a second. He... He's gonna give Corey Winters... He's giving him a lap dance. He's gonna give him a lap dance. Fans, turn away right now. Don't turn off the TV. Don't turn away from your monitors. But this is despicable and disgusting. Reprehensible action out of Hobo Joe. Running off the Latin Crime Syndicate. Who were on the receiving end of a silly string attack. you got to be kidding me. The Pleather Platoon and Latin Crime Syndicate. Absolution 5. Absolution AIW. I've been issued a challenge. I'm undefeated. Who wants to take the crown? Shima Zion. Now Shima, you want to come out here, put on your show. You want hell of a performer. You want hell of a wrestler. You know, you really, you get it done. And I respect that. <sighs> but when you challenge me, I am not one of those things that I just mentioned. I am completely unprofessional, totally reckless, and I'm out to hurt my opponent. Not just for the short term, but for the long run. So, Shima, you want to bring your pretty little ass out to the ring? Spray your hairspray, maybe a little six pack, get all oiled up and cute, 
And you want to bring your little girlfriend out too. I don't know if you heard about me, brother. You better not bring your girlfriend around me. Because I'll make a woman out of her real fast. <laughs> so, Shima, you want the title? Or do you want me? Do you want my undefeated streak? Because nobody, absolutely nobody, has been able to take that from me. And you think, for one minute, I'm going to let you do that? Nah, buddy. Because after I'm done with you, you're going to be on your next little plane ride down to Mexico or wherever, crying your little ass off, while I'm riding off into the sunset back to Shaolin with your girl. I don't give a Try, try not to curse, I know, I know. This is the TV show, you gotta shop this one around. Shima, it's a done deal. The respect I have for that man that I just wrestled last night, it ain't gonna go down like that for you. Because respect is earned. And you don't earn that shit by calling me out. So you better bring your working boots at Absolution, because it's going down. The American Dragon Brian Danielson returns to Absolute Intense Wrestling. All tickets are only $10 for AIW's Absolution 5 at the West Park Party Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Also, first time ever, ROH Champion Tyler Black versus Chuck Taylor. That $10 ticket includes a meet and greet with Brian Danielson. Brian, where can you get those tickets? Go to AIWrestling.com. Absolution, we're coming for you. 
Greg Iron, the time for feeling sorry for you is over. I've had to bust my ass to get to where I'm at today, and you've gotten so much farther in your career just because of a handicap. You're nothing but a gimmick. You have no talent. I've trained and bled and sweat my way through this business, and you've just been handed everything. The time for feeling sorry for you is done. Greg, you've martyred yourself because of a handicap. I'll tell you what, I have no respect for you, I don't feel bad for you, and pretty soon, I'm gonna make an example out of you. Denver! Bring me up to speed, brother! What's going on? All these attacks? Am I on the right show? Well, I mean, we haven't seen any attacks yet. However, a mysterious person, presumably a professional wrestler, has been hided under the guise of an enigma shrouded in mystery. And he has been sending these messages out anonymously about Greg Iron week after week. This is the third week consecutively that we've seen it. I have no idea who it could be. Wadsworth has no idea who it could be. Who do you think it is? I got it. Okay. Ben Fruth. Ben Fruth? Am I, am I on the right show? I don't think it's Ben Fruth. Well, if it's not Ben Fruth, then it's obviously Johnny Gargano. I don't think it's Johnny Gargano. We got a DVD right here of Johnny Gargano wrestling the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, who is going to be at Absolution 5, one of his first dates back to professional wrestling as we know it. <laughs> I got it. It's Mike Tolar! It's not it's Mike Tolar! It's obviously Mike Tolar. It's not Mike Tolar? It's definitely not Mike Tolar. Well, then it's Jimmy DeMarco. Come on! It's Jimmy. It's not Jimmy. I think you are on the wrong show. I think. Absolute yeah. intense wrestling. And how about this? An AIW tag team title match coming to you live from Sandusky, Ohio. Aeroform is going to be challenging the young studs. That's going to be intense. Absolutely! Aaron Bauer, we are back with a team that you are very familiar with. The AIW Tag Team Champions, the Young Stugs, going one-on-one -on -one with Aeroform, the team that alongside Johnny Gargano knocked off the Young Stugs in the finals of the Jack of All Trios tournament, dashing their hopes and dreams to get into Chikara's King of Trios. Well, I'll tell you what, Denver, Colorado, the Young Stugs are definitely the greatest tag team that I have ever managed, that I have ever been a privilege to have uh, as my client and look at right there Eric Ryan he's got just so many moves in his arsenal right now I mean this guy is going toe to toe right now with Flip Kendrick one of the fastest most exciting competitors on the independent wrestling scene let me tell let me ask you something though Eric Ryan very very overlooked very underrated I think he's, he's a hell of a talent and I gotta, I gotta ask you what are you gonna do to bring more attention to the young studs in 2010 well, these guys are the champions. I don't need to do much with them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We might have to work on some reversals right there. Eric Ryan, uh, now see, there we go. The double team, these guys always know where each other is. You know, they're facing a team of brothers, but Bobby Beverly and Eric Ryan are closer than brothers. Because brothers, brothers, they fight with each other. These guys don't even fight with each other. They are on the same page at all times. I mean, Bobby Beverly and Eric Ryan, this, this iteration of the Young Stars is the best I've ever seen. And just being able to go toe to toe with one of the top tag teams in all of independent wrestling, Arrow Form. Well, there's a, a reason why the Young Studs are the AIW Tag Team Champions. They are the number one team here. Arrow Form has to catch them. They don't have to catch Arrow Form. That's true, but that kick right there just caught your boy Bobby Beverly in the face. And that drop kick taking Eric Ryan down. Well, we just have to wait and see here because there's a, a battle plan that's in place. Uh oh, there we go, there we go. Get him, Bobby. Oh, man. All right, the young studs, we, we have to regroup here. If I, if I was out there right now, I'd be telling them, okay, Bobby, roll out of the ring. We got to take a breather here. Yeah, but not letting up. Lewis Linden now taking Bobby Beverly and tagging in his tag team partner, Flip Kendrick. Do they have a double team maneuver in mind? Well, it seems like they always have a double team maneuver in mind, but Bobby Beverly has a couple tricks up his sleeve as well. Bobby Beverly trying to dump Lewis Linden over the top rope, ricocheting off, getting caught with that kick, and it could be over right here if Arrow for him. If Flip Kendrick able to hit that maneuver, but Eric Ryan had him very well scouted. 
Well, that's something that I taught these youngsters, the young studs. You go ahead and you always must be prepared. Uh-oh, off the top, man. Oh, come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Bobby getting caught with a crossbody. Lewis Linden not going for the pinfall. Flip Kendrick trying to hit that flipping maneuver, that flipping face buster that we saw work on Eric Ryan. Bobby Beverly able to get out of that predicament, but getting caught, perhaps a head scissor. No, a big power slam taking Flip Kendrick down to the mat. Now you should cover him right here. Uh-oh, wait a second. Roll through. What is, oh, oh, Eric Ryan always, he's Johnny on the spot. He's always right there when you need him. I gotta ask you something. What's with this referee? I haven't seen many tags. This is the first time we've ever seen this referee. And Aaron Bauer, if I were you, I would make it so that this guy never officiates another match in AIW. Unless it favors the young studs. Well, I might have to talk to him. Maybe he wants to join the fold. I'm not quite sure on that yet, but we got to see here. And this is beautiful double team maneuver right here. Look at this. And they keep the man in their corner. They keep him closer to them. This is the young studs at their finest, at their best. Well, this referee finally may have some sense in him. Able to, you know, finally get one guy in, one guy out. Flip Kendrick, see, there he tries coming in. And the referee sent him out, out onto the apron. And there we see Bobby Beverly. Choking the life out of Lewis Linden. Now Eric Ryan back in the ring. Some more double team action from the young studs. The young studs. The young studs are always a step ahead, it seems, of their opponents. But I don't know. Arrow form is quick. Arrow form is quick. They wouldn't even take a payoff earlier. I tried to pay them off just to get out of the match, but they would not do it. These men have pride. Pride they may have, but kicks are not hitting the target. Clever Bobby Beverly. Lewis Linden using momentum, sent him into Flip Kendrick, and here comes Flip Kendrick, and he's cleaning house. You know, Bobby Beverly is definitely a better tag team partner for Eric Ryan than TJ Dynamite ever was, just like you are a better tag team partner for me than any of my other commentating partners ever were. Do you think that we should go after the AIW tag team titles? Well, absolutely not. The young studs hold them. They're proud and fighting champions. Miscommunication right there. Both young studs banging shins, able to move out of the way of Flip Kendrick though, bringing him back up to his feet, now shooting him off the ropes, no! Flip Kendrick taking both guys down, double DDT. I don't know if Eric Ryan had made contact, and this may be a mistake on Flip Kendrick's part, going for the pinfall on him, able to get a takedown, but not able to get all that maneuver. He should have went after Bobby Beverly, and I think that the young studs would have been in trouble. Well, I don't know, I don't know, because you know, actually, Who's the legal man? What is he? You were right earlier. Where is this referee from? That's what I'm saying. This referee's a Stugatz. Uh, he must be from that mega school. Now come on, Eric. Eric Ryan getting taken down with a pair of kicks. Lewis Linden pointing to the sky. And it looks like he's setting up Flip Kendrick for a sky twister press. You know, these guys are brothers, and they're really brothers. But the young studs are champions for a reason. They've got to have it in them. They've got to have the heart desire to move out of the way of this finishing maneuver that Flip Kendrick is going to try, attempt to do. No! Sky twisting press moves off flippity dippity bomb. Now going for the pinfall on Eric Ryan and Bobby Peverly able to take the incompetent official out of the ring and decking him like he should have done 10 minutes ago. He sure did. That's how he treats women. He punches them and then he throws them out. Lewis Linden throwing caution in the wind, trying to take Bobby Beverly out. And now it's Flip Kendrick doing. He has no business going to the outside. What? Why is he putting his hands on an official? You should never put your hands on an official, especially one the magnitude of this guy, whatever his name is here in AIW. Now Flip Kendrick going, going for that trapper keeper bomb. No, Eric Ryan had it scouted. Able to battle out, maybe going for one of his own. No, Flip Kendrick. He's got the tights. He's got the tights. I, and the referee's throwing this one out. He told him right there, you have the tights, you're disqualified. Your winners and still champions and undefeated, the young stud, managed and guided by agent Aaron Bauer. Let's get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by referee Jake Clemens that after being struck in the face by Bobby Beverly, he has disqualified the Young Studs. Therefore, your winners, as a result of a disqualification, Flip Kendrick and Lewis Linden, Aeroform. What? Uh, this is However, in AIW, is titles can only justice. change hands I've never on seen a pinball like or this. submission. Still, your AIW Tag Team Champions, Bobby Beverly, and
and Eric Ryan, the Young Studs. I don't understand. I don't understand, Young Studs. You guys are a bunch of cheaters. You have no honor. You can't beat me in foot. You proved that here tonight. But you know what? That's fine. Because you know what? We challenge you to a rematch. Absolution Listen, five. An inferno match. That's what we're going to do. Nah, gonna do. Hold, 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 hold back. Hold back. Hold back. Man. Hold back. You guys can't beat us two in a row. We know that. So you know what? If you're man enough, if you can face the snake, Absolution 5, Young Studs, error form, two out of three falls. You take it to a whole nother level, son.